Hi, Yuri. Hey. Um, so you've got some really interesting stuff for us. Um, but before we jump into that, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm Uri. I work part-time from BlackBerry. Okay. And I also do a lot of uh, open source stuff. Uh, in my free time, I also uh, dance salsa. I used to be a uh, okay. salsa teacher. Um, and I pay, play the pan flute. Okay. I actually have it here with me. I brought it uh, right from Peru five years ago. Okay, cool. So I can play you something uh, quick. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks. I, uh, <laughs> I, um, uh, I, 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 I knew I, I could. I could imagine what it looked like, but then seeing it, I'm like, oh yes, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. Um, so you um, you have a, you, you give me a workshop tomorrow, and uh, uh, I think on Friday, and then you give me a talk. As well. Yeah, talk yeah. about accessibility okay, in cool. Angular. All right, but uh, today you're going to tell us about this thing that you have uh, dangling on your neck. So what is that? So this is one of my latest uh, hardware projects. Okay. Uh, one of uh, the things I love to do is uh, to tinker with hardware and electronics okay. and combine it with uh, my uh, love for the web and Angular. So this is the NG Beacon. It's a Bluetooth low energy device that can do several things. Um, I just released an update that lets you program this thing with JavaScript. So you can actually run a JavaScript code on this guy and um, it, first of all, it can broadcast the URL to everybody in the room. So if you have a website and you want to share it with uh, the people uh, around you, like if you are in this conference and you want to share, to share the agenda with everybody here in the conference, you can use this um, beacon uh, using something called the physical web to share this with uh, other people. Do you want me to yeah, do a quick you, demo? Yeah, can you show me? How do you, you, how do, you do this? How do you so get this to... I see that you have an iPad here. Yeah. And uh, on the iPad, you can actually do it if you have Chrome installed. So do you have Chrome installed on that uh, one? Yeah, I think I just installed it. Yeah, oh, I got it. Oh, perfect. But you actually don't need to use Chrome. You just uh, need to add it to your uh, notifications uh, widgets. And uh, you will see uh, after I edit it's chrome in c do you see chrome uh, here it is okay. you gotta put, hit the plus yeah yeah and now once we added chrome we just need to enable the physical web and in a second or two we'll see the notification for uh, the website that the beacon is broadcasting oh, okay oh yeah oh, it wow. happened and then you can see there are actually two beacons around us one is this beacon i'm wearing which um leads to a post uh, explaining about the NG Beacon project and why I created it. And the other one is the uh, opening page for the NG Beacon hunt game that we are going to have here tomorrow, okay. which will be kind of a scavenger hunt where the uh, attendees will have to go through different stages, find the beacons, solve riddles, interact with them, and uh, then uh, we have a cool prize. That sounds awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I'm totally surprised by this. I've never, I've never seen, uh, I know, first of all, I've never heard of physical web, so that's a really cool thing that you can actually do. And you can do, and this works with um, iOS and, uh, uh, and um, as well as uh, Android. Yes. And, and does this work on like regular desktops as well, if you would, or, or is it only for mobile devices? So the physical web specifically was yeah. designed uh, mostly for mobile devices because the idea is you are on the go, um, you need access to some information which is relevant to where you are currently at. And you probably have your mobile device ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't sit with your desktop and right. travel around. So that's the idea, and I think that's the reason they only implemented it on mobile. I mean, you could write a small piece of code that will make it discover beacons. Um, I think there is even a Windows 10 app, so if you have like a Windows 10 tablet, you can also do that with the app. But that's the main use case. And, and, uh, and so this this beacon that you created is that um, did you get this made because it looks like very nicely designed for like how did that come about? Oh, thank you. The board, like the yeah, the, the, the actual uh, PCB board, the red thing was made in China, and okay. then I learned how to solder and solder all these components on okay. it. 
So I'm like doing electronics as a hobby and uh, awesome. I'm learning as I go. I just posted a video like last week on my uh, blog where you can see me actually sitting and soldering. <laughs> Each one is like 20 minutes of work. Are you getting better? Is it, is it something that takes practice, uh, I would imagine? Because it looks like pretty precise work you have Thanks. There. Yeah. Well, yeah, the first few one had a lot of burn signs. Yeah. Fortunately, I didn't get any burn sign. And then uh, I built another project, which hopefully uh, will interact with this NG Beacon in a moment. OK. Um, Are you going to so show it to us? Yes, why not? <laughs> OK. So, uh, Shai Resnick, a good friend of mine, and he's also the founder of uh, the website HiRes.io. Okay. He has a little mascot he calls Bonnie, which is a beaver that he uses in all of his uh, instructional videos. And I decided I like. He sent me a 3D module, his uh, wife's father designed, and I decided to try to bring uh, Bonnie into life. Okay. So cool. fortunately, thanks. Fortunately, I have a 3D printer at home. So I 3D printed Bonnie, and as you can see, it's can I? yeah, yeah, sure, you can hold it. It's not just a regular 3D printed Bonnie; it actually has a similar hardware inside it. So um, I can connect to it with my phone, um, and hopefully, it will find the Bonnie. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, oh, it found it, and now. Uh, it's got a blinking light underneath. Oh, so it means I'm connected. Okay. So let it, let's make it say hi to you. Hi. Oh, wow. Yeah. So <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> this is actually another cool feature that uh, we have in Chrome on Android. Okay. It yeah. allows web pages to speak with devices. So this is actually just a web page that can connect to this device using a protocol called Web Bluetooth. So are you? So is this a voice to speech on there, and it's being broadcast here, or, or no? It just sends it uh, a, a message okay. telling it what to say, and this has a bunch of MP3 files. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, okay. sometimes okay. it gets a little nervous, and then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But uh, I think the most exciting thing about it is when you take the phone away and make two devices interact. So okay. if we bring them close, sometimes it needs to be real close. I don't know if it works this time, but hopefully, uh, Boney, wake up and do what you are supposed to do. Let's try to restart the beacon. Sometimes it does the trick. Oh, it wow. works! <laughs> yeah, amazing. so let's try to see if it works again. Yeah, now wow. we're lucky. We just <laughs> have to restart the, bingo, the beacon. <laughs> That's amazing. So, that is the coolest thing ever. Thanks. Yeah, this is... Wow. So I think that's where the magic happens, when you like, start taking those simple things and combine them together so they start interacting. And then when you add uh, phones, you can actually make the whole experience like customizable, controllable from the web. So how long have you been learning about, about these things? Like, like how, long have, how long did it take for you to come up with that and then this? So the story behind the NG Beacon yeah. was actually when I was trying to design the hardware for this, I noticed that um, you could like send, uh, I created the circuit board for this guy. And then I was thinking like, OK, you can send them a file and then uh, they will manufacture it. And they can print off it on it with white color. And there is an option to choose red background. The default is, by the way, green. So red brick round, any shape I want, white uh, text like uh, on top of it. Yeah. That's the Angular logo. Yeah, that's and awesome. And then it struck me. I can make the Angular logo. So while making this, I actually thought about <laughs> okay. the idea for this. OK. And then cool. I said, but what would be the purpose of this? And I realized that if it has the Angular logo, if it looks like the Angular logo, it might help um, web developers who love Angular to start uh, working with smart devices. So to get them feel more at home when uh, approaching those devices. So that was like why I decided to create, to try and create this. And it's still a new thing, like um, yeah, it's really, just two months yeah. old. 
It's very interesting. Uh, is there like if you had if these things were actual badges, would that be like is there a limit to how many of these you could have in a space? Or that's a cool thing I wanted to test. Like yeah. <laughs> I had like ten or twenty manufactured already, so that's like the maximum amount I could test. Right, so right. it works well with a few of them. Um, I actually gave a talk uh, last month in uh, NG Viking conference where um, I gave, uh, I called uh, four people to the stage, on the stage, and I asked them, each one of them, to hold a beacon. And we live coded an uh, Angular uh, game which was called Hot or Not. Okay. And it just rated the participants according to, we have a temperature sensor on top of this guy. <laughs> okay. So they had to cover it with their fingers and it just uh, measured their body temperature and the app showed who is hotter. Oh, but yeah, really, cool. in that's real awesome. time. Yeah, that's awesome. That's very cool. Yeah, so I think once you learn that you can program those things and now it's possible with JavaScript so it's much easier for web developers and you learn that you can connect them to the web with web Bluetooth, then you start like your imagination starts running and you start coming up with all sort of creative things. I have a few more like ideas yeah, I'm, coming. I'm, I'm excited to see for next year what's gonna <laughs> what's gonna happen. It seems to be it seems to be an evolving thing. So yeah this is really amazing. Thank Actually you so when you mentioned that so this is all open source on GitHub, yeah. and two weeks ago I got a tweet from some guy asking me, wouldn't it, he, wouldn't it be nice if, if we had some area where we could solder additional components and extend the beacon? But probably it's too late for that, right? And I said to him, no, it's open on GitHub. You can send us a pull request, and he actually did. And I met him here on ng-cons, and yeah. so he actually sent me a pull request with uh, the uh, addition that he suggested, and I went on and uh, managed to manufacture it just for uh, ngconf. And you can see it has this extra area here where mm -hmm. you can solder um, things and um, like connect kind of external hardware. I also added a little LED. Yeah, it doesn't do much right now, but uh, one thing I did at home. Uh, I connected a uh, small accelerometer to it, so it could actually uh, respond to you tilting it. Wow. And I'm still like thinking of where we could take it from here, like what other cool stuff uh, we can do with it. So if you have any ideas, then I would so, love. Yeah, so, how, so if somebody wanted to, like if somebody's got an idea um, and they wanted to, um, to reach out to you, like how, how can they reach you? Just ping me on Twitter, at okay. Rishaked. Uh, and uh, and w the, what's the um, what's the project name on GitHub? Uh, it's called ng Beacon. You okay. can go to ngbeacon.io and it gives you the blog post with uh, all the details about the project, why I built it, and uh, so on. I created it for fun and for the community. And my goal is really to put it online and see where the community can take it on. Yeah, that sounds great. And uh, hopefully uh, next year we can we can do a showcase of all the amazing things that uh, that community came up with. But yes. thank you so much for, for sharing your to. enthusiasm for something that's really amazing. It's really great. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much as well. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank and you uh, see you on Angie Cruise, I guess. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. we're going to do there something fun with... We'll, we'll uh, do something with beacons. With beacons and with robots. And so I told you I'm a salsa dancer yeah. and I used to teach salsa. Yeah. So I'm going to do a salsa workshop okay. on the cruise. <laughs> That's great. And then I go to I want to try to make robots dance salsa live on stage. I don't know if I will make it, but I wow. like uh, aiming high and see Sounds if it great. works. Sounds great. We all Thanks. learn some salsa from the robots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. All right. Well thank you very much. Thank you too. Hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? Then join this dot instructor Ben Lesh to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today. Hey there, do you use Angular? Do you like fun in the sun? And how do you feel about boats? If you're nodding yes, then uh, come join us on NG Cruise to learn more about Angular while on a fabulous Caribbean cruise. Check out ngcruise.com for speaker lineup, workshop details, and to book your spot today.